Woo! We going live. I've been going live a lot, but system is trying to make up some coins, but it's not going to happen this month um, unless there's something that happens. Mm, yeah, that's a wrap for uh, February, but we could see what we could do in some type of purgatory for a few seconds. If you all are still here, come on in and say hello. And if you watch this in the replay, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you get hit the like, subscribe, or whatever, and open up the live chat so you can see what we're talking about. Is anybody here? Because I was kicked off. I don't even know if people are still here. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, let's see what's happening right here. So let me know if y'all are still here. Okay, I see people. Okay, I see people because it was like, <sighs> yeah, it was a lot. It was sitting here going, not connected, not connected, not connected. So, yeah. So, anyway, I wasn't planning on going live today, but I went to my, my, my postal box and I had stuff. Now, I was going there for a couple of things, but it was a lot more stuff there than I expected than I expected and hi Onai and so I have to share it with you all so I'm gonna go with some of the little stuff and then I'm gonna hit the big stuff so I'm gonna show you well it's kind of hard for me to get okay let me see can I get it let me see can I do this oh. okay so it's all right here right here it's all right here. Okay, so some of this I ordered, some I did not. Quite a bit of it I didn't. So I'm going to go over the stuff I ordered, and then we'll go back to the stuff I ordered after I show you some other stuff. I know it's a lot to going on. I know y'all going, what the hell is she saying? But don't worry, y'all will understand in a few. So you see I'm getting started early. <clears throat> so I got my scent box for a month. They have definitely brought down the packaging, which is cool. Now, let me just tell y'all, first off, if I start sweating, it's because I am, as they call project, I'm, I'm in project heat right now. Let me explain what that means. Right now, it might be five degrees outside because it's supposed to get down to minus two. And, but my room is like a sauna because I got that radiator heat and it's hot as hell. Now, it is called by, you know, black folks, project heat. And the reason why they say that is because a lot of times when you would, if you if you've ever been to the projects in the winter time, it be hot as hell in them buildings. That's why I'm so mad in them buildings, cause it be hot as hell. But anyway, okay, let me just go and tell y'all what I got. I got Al Oud. I think this is Atelier Cologne. I don't know anymore. I forgot what I ordered, cause I put this on my little list a while ago. But this is Al Oud, and it is a strong oud. I have to see what the notes are when I actually talk about it. But I definitely smell some rose in it. It's got some vanilla. I smell spice. It's probably got a little saffron in it. Because, you know, a lot of times with oud, they put saffron in it to give it a little spiciness. It's either got spice, uh, that or pink pepper or some pepper. I'm not sure. Because I sprayed it a little while ago. And um, you can still smell it on the box. It's smelling pretty good. Okay. So that's what I bought. Then the next thing I bought was, now mind you, let me tell you why my boxes is open. Cause B opened them all. B was like, what'd you get? What'd you get? I'm like. So she started opening up my boxes. I felt, I felt, I felt a little violated. But she you knows she's my daughter. So it was like, I couldn't do nothing. So anyway, I got a Sephora order. So let me show y'all what I got from Sephora. Now we're gonna double back to the Sephora order order in a little bit. Cause let me show y'all what I got, y'all. Y'all gonna be like, what? What? Now first off, Sephora sent me this big ass box. Let's let's hope it's got some real stuff. I mean, this is a big ass box. For what I got, I did not need this big box. But let me see how it's packaged. I don't know. Okay, so let me see what I got in this box. Yeah, this box did not need to be this big. Okay, so first things first, I got this Floral Street. Hi, Sandra. I got this Floral Street Discovery set. 
I heard something about, actually this is pretty well packed for Sephora because we know Sephora goods are putting one sheet of paper and all your stuff in a big ass box and it's just jumping around. So I got this because I I heard something or saw something about one of these fragrances. Went on Sephora, Sephora is the only people that um, carries this in the States. And um, I wanted to try them out because they, they sounded kind of lovely. So we're gonna double back and do some first impressions of this one. Um, and I'll look up the notes and everything and tell you why I was liking them. Okay, so that's one. Then I got this, which is the Nest um, Fragrance Sampler Set. So I got the Nest fragrance sampler set right here because I've tried a couple of Nests, but I wanted to try some more. Now, sadly, I heard they got a couple of more. They got a new one out that I want to try. Hi, Kim. But this is um, the ones that were out, you know, that's been out for so long. I'm trying to do more sampler sets. So with, with brands that way, if they have a sampler set, I'm trying to do those more instead of just blind buying like I can do. Okay, um, and then I got this. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. This was this year's, um, this, and this was his holiday collection and it was on sale. Right. Right, you know, we got to stop all this blind buying. So, okay, so I bought this because, and um, it, it was a Kimberly Newberry buy. I got Showstopper. Ooh, it's pretty. This is my first Marc Jacobs one like this. Um, ooh, it's pretty. So I got Showstopper. Let's see how she looks, which is the more peachy one, I think. Uh, how do I open her up? Uh, let's see how, okay, there we go. I bought this one. Let's do a quick swatch. Ooh, let's see how she looks. She feels good. She's my style. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Oh yeah, she my style. She's very peachy, peachy. We gonna see how she looks. She's pretty though. It was only $29.50. If they still have another one, I might get the other one now because I kind of like this now. Okay, the other one was kind of more bronzy. So I have to stop playing with myself and acting like I'm bronzy. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, I have to really stop playing with myself. Okay. And trying to act like I'm bronze. Okay, and then they had this, which is, you can't believe when Sephora actually gives you a thing of samples. So they had this as one of, you know, to coupon or whatever. And I took advantage of it because, you know, Sephora don't be doing you right most of the time. But this is, a, a bunch of fragrance samplers the one thing i got was um the fresh lotus youth preserve dream face cream i've been wanting to try this so this is good so i'm gonna put this out so i wanted to try that and then it was uh c fiori hi erica so we're gonna just we're gonna have a sample night this is black opium yeah 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 this is flower bomb yeah 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 I think I'm going to take the ones that I don't really use and put them like in my sort of guest bathroom kind of vibe. Oh, Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I've never tried this. I'm always hearing about it. Okay. Dolce & Gabbana like glue glue. Yeah, that's going in the bathroom. Versace Bright Crystal B wants to try this. So I'm going to give her this to try. And um, Replica Springtime in the Park. Okay. Okay. There's some good stuff I could try. So we're going to try a lot of these tonight. We're going to do some first impressions. So those are here for my samples. Now, let's talk about what I got. That was friend mail. That was friend mail. So let's just talk about the friend mail. So um, I got these packages. It was three of them. Like I said, uh, you know, I was I didn't I wasn't expecting them, but I was like I didn't order nothing from Amazon, and I got something from some little cosmetic company, and I get this big ass box. So I open up the box now. I'm not even gonna tell you who it's from because I it took me a minute to figure out who it was probably from, 
and it was like okay so one little thing was in there and it was one little thing from a little company it was just you know a little bubble mailer or something right and i opened it up <laughs> and this was in it that's right loves baby soft have we not discussed loves baby soft so many times so many times now this is the uh this isn't the spray this is the one but it's a one ounce of loves baby soft <sighs> because have we not discussed loves baby soft so many times as first fragrances that many of us wore hold up i'm not done i'm not done i'm gonna get to who i figured it out it was then i got a box right i got this amazon box i'm like amazon I didn't... and i had to look at my orders because i was like i know i ain't bash it but let me check so i said well okay somebody sent me something and i open up the box and what do i see but Gina Tay, after bath splash mist. If this don't take you back with moisture replenishing complex, my, you know what? I don't think I need to buy another perfume. I don't need another scent in my world. I got Love's Baby Soft and Gina Tay. I got Love's Baby Soft and Gina Tay. I don't need shit else in my life. I don't need shit else in my life. Then there was a big box. A big box. I was like, what the hell is in this big box? I thought it was from Lisa Springer because she said she was sending something. But it wasn't. And then I look and we and B opens the box up. Y'all ain't ready for this. I mean, you know what? Just y'all ain't ready for this. I promise y'all, y'all are not ready for this. This is let me let me get it together so to present it correctly. We officially have the Linda phone. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle Moore. This all came from crazy ass Michelle. We have the Linda phone. Linda can make her calls to Jax. Hello, Jax. Um, we need to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna clean her up. But we have the Linda phone. I have Linda Morphe's phone here. She will be making direct calls to Jax now. <sighs> Michelle, you love me. <laughs> I mean, I am complete. I got Love's Baby Soft. I got Gina Tay. And I got the Linda phone. It's on the next Jacqueline Hill watch party. If Linda has to call in, I'm ready. Because you know, Linda, Linda channels through me. I channel Linda. And I got her phone now. Straight from 1987. Let me see what year she said this was. Nine, oh, I'm sorry. Stray from 1978. Pillow Talk French Cameo Style Rotary Dial Phone. Ain't nobody ready for me now. No. It is going down. In the, it's going down for the exit. Let me smell Gina Tay. I have not smelled Gina Tay in years. I got to put this on my Instagram page. 
1978. So, let's just see how she smells. Oh, I ain't put, I ain't putting, I ain't putting no genitalia on me. I got, I got a dry thing. Oh, she smells like I remembered her. That lemony, citrusy. Oh, I, oh. Is it okay? Cleanate, Dinate. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Tammy, you missed it. But let me just give you a quick recap on what I received in friend mail. I first got me some Love's Baby Soft because, you know, my, my, my collect, I don't even know if I need to order anything else though. Not only did I have the Love's Baby Soft, but Michelle sent me the Gina Tay After Bath Splash Mist. I mean, this really brings me back. I remember going to this little drugstore by my house and sitting in there looking at stuff, and I smelled Love's Baby Soft for the first time. Now, I already had Gina Tay because Gina Tay was the first. But when I smelled Love's Baby Soft, you couldn't tell me nothing. I had to get me a bottle. I was spraying myself with Love's Baby Soft. I was, I was Love's Baby. I was powdery. I was, I was just, I was beautiful. I found my beauty. But Tammy, Tammy. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Not only did she give me my Love's Baby Soft, but now we have our direct line. To Linda. I have a Linda phone now. Jax. Jax is. Linda will be channeling direct to me through this phone. Through this phone. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Michelle, Michelle, you got that one, baby. Ah, uh -uh, you got that one. Yes. I'm sure it still works. I'm sure if I plug, listen, you got to have a landline to use it. I ain't got no land. Who has a landline? When was the last time I had a landline? I think the last time I had a landline was in 2006. And then we said, now nah, we're getting rid of it because we're using it. So, you mean, you got to have a landline to plug it in to find out if it works. But I'm sure it would. Okay, so let's, girl, I was, I was not ready for Linda, the Linda phone. The Linda, now let me say, Michelle gave me a heads up on the phone. So I kind of knew the phone was coming, but I didn't know about the fragrances. So when I saw the fragrances, first I saw this little thing, it's like, love's baby soft. And then to see Gina Tay, Gina Tay, I was like, she knows me so well. She knows me so well. She knows me so well. Okay, but now let's go into some fragrances that I got. I, let me pull up some so we can see with the notes. Yes, child, you can still get it. Honey, those are classics. Every little girl should have it, but these parents don't be doing their kids right. They don't give them the good stuff. They don't start them out right. They be trying to make them grown before they grown. Get them children. Yeah, that's yeah, that's original packaging. I can tell. This is original packaging. You can tell by the fonts and everything and how it is. Baby. You can't tell me nothing. Okay, I got Love's Baby Soft and Gina Tay. I I don't like I said I don't even know if I'm going to need to get anything else. I don't even know if I'm. I mean, what do I really need with new fragrances? I got Love's J Baby Soft and Gina Tay.
Okay, I will look at it. Okay, so now here is Floral Street. This is a brand that I saw that's only in Sephora. They are a UK brand. Um, and let me see how many they have. Let me see. Um, they're made um, by Jerome Epinette. He's a very well-known noses and knows in the world because Floral Street cares for the environment each scent uses sustainably sourced raw materials and has created packaging with principles reusable recyclable or compostable and sustainably sourced okay floral streets are, are fragrances are even vegan each fragrance tells its own story and delivers a whatever, whatever. okay so here we go so let's look at this I know, because you know what? It was always like, I kept, I forgot to order it. Because I had it, you know how you have it in your cart and then your cart expires? They be killing me expiring your cart. So have you ever noticed that uh, fragrance, fragrance net will, fragrance will, will, you know, get rid of your cart? And then you got to remember what you had in the cart? They ain't even right. Listen, I got a cart. Leave my damn cart alone. You gave me the access to a cart. Leave my damn cart alone. Let's, let's just stop this madness. Let's just stop this madness. Okay, so the first one we're going to try is Neon Rose. Yeah, it pisses me off. So these are one and a half mil sprays, which is good to, you know, really try some stuff out with. But this is, uh, I'm going to need to get some more of these. Soon. So this is called Neon Rose. I'm like, listen, I was going to buy that shit. So what I didn't buy it today or the day before, before or the day before that or the day before that. I was going to buy those things. You fuck it with me. You know, we old and not. Okay. So anyway, yeah, that's what I've had to start doing. Screenshot in my cart that when I finally figured out they, they really doing this. Okay. So here we go. Now I don't have, I couldn't there. I, I don't think this is on for granted yet these this particular brand i have to check so what they said in this is the keynotes and this is called neon rose it says a fragrance for the fiery quirky expressive and unexpected super clean super floral this is pear galbanum and sichuan pepper now i'm sure there's some more notes in it but let's just see how it smells let's just see ooh, 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 how she smells so this this is called Neon Rose. It's a really cute little, little thing too though. Look at this. It's so cute. I like it. Okay, so let's see how she smells. I definitely smell this the pear. Now these are Oda Um, And they're not that expensive. They are 50 mils for $78. I definitely smell the pear and I definitely smell the rose. Um. It's got a fruit. It is a fruity floral. Uh, it does have a little spice to it. It does have a little spice to it. However, I can see that these wouldn't be very, they're not, I don't think of them on, I'm going to have to see how they wear on the skin, but it seems very light, um, which would be cute in the summertime. But yeah, it seems kind of light, but I'm going to see how it wears on the skin. Oh, but it's pretty in a in a unique sort of way because it is rosy, but it does have that um, pear vibe to it, which I never smell rose and pear together. It doesn't, right? It does. I don't smell any vanilla, which is awesome, and it definitely has a little spiciness from the pepper. So it's a spicy rose with a little pear in it. And I love the smell of pear. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's go with Wild Vanilla Orchid. Wild Vanilla Orchid. Uh, uh, do y'all even want me to do this? Are y'all like, cool, we could get off? I'm just asking, you know. Wild Vanilla Orchid. Okay, so let me see what she looks like. Where's my stuff? Oh, they over there. Hold on. I got stuff all over now. I like really, you know what? Can I just say this? I appreciate my rolling chair. It is so fun to roll around the floor like this. It is so fun. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'm back. 
there's a slight incline in my room too so it really does like just does its own thing in certain spots okay so here we go this is wild vanilla orchid ooh, ooh. sprays out really nice got a nice sprayer for these little bitty ones okay let's give it a second okay so let's see my nose is a little bit um stuff oh but i can smell this warm and spicy vanilla bean cashmere cashmere and ambroxan i like it it is definitely a wild vanilla it's it's definitely got a floral scent and I smell the vanilla, but the vanilla, but it's definitely not a super sweet. It's, it's more ambery with the ambroxan. Oh, this is cute. So it's got the cashmere and gives it a little slightly powdery scent. So it's like a powdery vanilla, but with an amber note to it. It's cute. Hey Shelly. Hey just Jay. Yeah. So I wonder. Um yeah, I like it. I like it. That's kind of that's kind of cute. Okay, I like it. Okay, okay. So we're playing with this floral street right here. This is floral street. This is um a brand I found out of Sephora. And so I wanted to try all of their stuff. I want to try all of them so I got the sample set. So this is Wonderland Peony. Wonderland Peony. I had to find her. It's really cute though, because then they got these different colors for each one. It's kind of cute. I mean, I like the I like the presentation. The presentation is awesome. Okay, so this is Wonderland Peony. And it better have peony in it. Black currant pink pepper candy flaws. Those are the keynotes. I hate why don't you just give me all the notes? Just let me see some more. Come on now. Black currant, pink, cause I'm gonna need, okay, so let's see what it is. It's a warm floral. All right, so it says black currant, pink pepper, and candy floss, whatever. They be killing me with these names. What is candy floss, y'all? Oh, it is sweet though. Hmm. I like the black currant. Black currant has a slight sour smell to it. So it definitely has a, ooh, it hits you. It has, um, right, I know what candy flour, but I'm saying, what what's the scent of it? Just sugar, but it, but it smells, I know what candy floss is. I'm saying, what is the scent? Sugar. Um, ooh, okay, so, you definitely get the black currant. I definitely get the peony, the floral in it. Mmm. Um, the candy floss, if that's what they want to call it, makes it a very edible. It gives it a little sweet floral. You know what it, it, it smells like? It's like, you know when they have those um, candied violets or something? Candied, you know, fruits on a on a pretty cake or something it gives me that vibe like a candy um flower we're gonna see i might have some of those in another one because i got nest two i have two of them Ooh. Mm. Mm. but she's so cute oh you know i'm girly girl now this is very spring summer yeah, this is very spring summer. You would like bourbon by, by uh, Elizabeth and James. Right, I'm just saying, candy floss, cotton candy. Um, you know, it, 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 I'm just saying. Oh, let me clear my nose. All right, London Poppy. London Poppy. These, okay, there are some that are a little more deep, so we're going to get to those because those are on the other end because we got sheep or sublime. Yeah, we got some. So I'm going to finish up these and then, um, exactly, that's what you got to do. Well, we're talking Elizabeth and the James bourbon, so it doesn't smell like bourbon. You know, you're not going to smell like that forever because it's got bourbon, it's got vanilla in it. Okay, so this is London Poppy. 
London Poppy is a fresh floral, has neroli, lemon, and orange blossom. So this is going to be super citrusy. Because it is full of citrus. And it is full of citrus. That's exactly what it is. Orange blossom. I would like to see what else is in it though. Um, yeah, this is a this is a bright citrus. I would definitely wear Yeah, I, I could definitely see myself wearing this. They gonna need to um they gonna need to go to the aftermarket. I'm gonna need them on fragrancenetperfume.com, something like this. I need floor street someplace else because I don't want to pay full price. I'm gonna need them to go on and do something like that for me. Oh, and I'm smelling the orange blossom now. The orange blossom is coming through. So at first it was very lemon, very very zest lemon, very neroli. But now the orange blossom is coming through, baby. So it is a tr true citrusy floral. Yep. The name for neroli. You probably did. Because neroli's are, are orangey. Um right exactly exactly i want i'm looking for a really good so i'm looking for some hot summer scents okay so now next up let's do i got iris goddess let me see what that is iris goddess okay right okay so let's go with iris goddess they have two four six they have eight all together um I got eight all together, so let's do this one. This is Iris Goddess, and this is a powdery flora. It has orris, peach, and leather. Hmm, interesting. Let's see how this works out together. Right away, I smell the iris. Oh yeah, I definitely smell the, oh, I smell the peach. Oh, the peach is love. Oh, I love this. So you're going to get bronze goddess, right? Because bronze goddess is coconut all day. Oh, they got a new one too I want to try. You can definitely smell the peach in this. Oh, it smells like you should just bite into this peach, y'all. I'm not getting the leather. I'm assuming the leather is gonna come at the um comes come at the end. It's gonna come at the bottom. And then the oris is there. Smells good. But it does have a powdery scent. Yeah, I saw the new one. I think I want to try that one. Definitely has a powdery scent, but I'm gonna wait till it goes on sale at the end of the season. I am such a horrible person. Yeah, this is definitely peachy. Definitely got a peachy vibe to it. And then the auras, and I can smell the iris, so it's giving it that powdery vibe to it. And the leather is very faint, so but it's mixing with the peach and giving it this really, um, let me see how I want to say this, because I can smell faintly the leather in it with but it's really good with the peach and i would never think peach and leather would make sense but they really do because the peach is so sweet and it's like rounding it out and softening it up with the little leather and the leather isn't too masculine so it's right there okay so there we go with that one all right you see i got i got the dj cup I got the DJ cup. Okay, so I'm missing one. They have one that's not in here. It's called rhubarb. I'm mad. They got this. They must have came out with a new one. It's called something rhubarb. I just looked at electric rhubarb. That sounds interesting to me. Because now I'm starting to notice that I like the rhubarb scent. I don't like rhubarb, but I like the scent. Okay, so this is called Shepra Sublime. And if you don't know what a Shepra is, Shepras are usually kind of woody smells. 
So, um, ooh, that sounds good. So this has rose absolute incense and patchouli in it. So they tend to have like a woody smell to them. Um, just a, a slight woodiness to their scent. When, man, this just came at me. This is kind of strong, y'all. I smell the rose. Oh, the rose is a classic rose. It says rose absolute, and it definitely is. This is a definite classic rose. It's got incense and patchouli in it. Oh, it's got a sweetness to it. Okay, I'm kind of loving all of these, y'all. Real talk, I could pretty much wear all of these. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's got a, a, a deep rose in it. Um, and yeah, but that's because you live in the South, child. We tag because it's getting cold out here. Um, so it's definitely a rose. So if you don't like rose, this is not for you. But now the incense is coming in to give it a more spicy vibe, get a more um, exotic vibe to it. Brandon, hold on, be right back. All right, take care and bring them to me. All right, next up, and these were the two that I was actually, these are the two that I almost bought one of them. And then I said, let me just go on and get the whole, um, let me just get the, okay, so these were the, these last two were the ones that I almost was, I was like, let me, maybe I'll just buy a bottle. And then I said, no, let's try them all. So this is how I wound up here because I was trying not to do me and just buy a bottle. And this is called Black Lotus. Right? So this is called Black Lotus. And this is Jasmine, Saffron, and Papyrus. I already know I was going to like this one. I already knew I was going to like this one. Though. Yep. Jasmine and Saffron, baby. So this is a... Oh, oh don't Why is my child crying like that? Maybe he's changing them. Yeah, that's, crying. that's changing. Ooh. Yes, it is Jasmine and Saffron, baby. I want to spray some more. Yeah, this is... I, I knew I was going to like this one. I knew I was going to like this one. This hit... This sounds so much like me. So I'm gonna have to try these on, but oh my God. Yeah, this is so me. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I can smell the papyrus. So, ooh. Yeah, this is me, y'all. Ooh, I might have to put her on. Let me put some on. Let me just put a little on. Ooh, I was, oh. You wasted, huh? We're going to leave her on and see how she smells. I definitely get an incense jasmine, spicy jasmine. I don't have any like this where it's a spicy jasmine. I would like to see what other um, florals are in here. Oh, my goodness. Now, let me say this. Shelly, you might like this one. Even though it's a jasmine, it has a very spicy, very you know, um, it has a very spicy, kind of almost woody smell to it. Ooh. It definitely comes off, I know it says warm and spicy, but it definitely comes off as an oriental, a flor, a floriental. It definitely comes off as an oriental floral. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 it's a good one. All right, and then the last one is Lang Lang Espresso. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. This is the other one that I was really wanting to try too, which is Lang Lang Espresso. Let me get the notes for that one. All right, this is a, a warm, 
It is Black Lotus. This is by Floral Street, and it's Black Lotus. They're only at Sephora. The only place I could find them at is in Sephora. This is, you ready? Lang Lang Coffee Beans Tiramisu. Translation, I might be in trouble. I think these would definitely, I, but you know, to be honest, I like them all. Okay, let's see how we gonna do this. Why am I sniffing a piece of paper that ain't got shit on it? Okay. Right? Now, Lang Lang, um, oh yeah, this is good too. Oh my God, I want most of them, y'all. So I see I'm gonna have to put this on my list and I'm just gonna hit Sephora and when they have the VIB, I am not VIB at all, I'm just regular. So somebody, I'm gonna have to use a 20% coupon discount to get this. Or maybe I'll get up to VIB by the middle of the year, at least get 15%. Ooh, yeah. Definitely smell the Lang Lang. It's got some different florals in here though. The coffee is very subtle. It's not like Intense Cafe by um, Montal. But it's this, this is gorgeous. Oh man, I think we're going Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to do a whole video. We're gonna have to do a whole live just on them and do like so I could just do them. Uh. Man, I'm not even VIB, y'all. I am just an insider. Okay, the coffee just came through. Oh, oh, Lang Lang, oh. some good shit y'all yeah okay so that was that is floral streets um sampler set i will be wearing these hmm, this is a very interesting um scent that's the black lotus it's definitely got a more woody vibe the jasmine is still coming through. Mm, okay. Okay. I'm going to have to go on their site, Floral Street site, to really see what their stuff is. All right. So we're done with that. Now we have Nest. Now, Nest has been around for some time. So, but, and I, and I know a couple of them that I like, but I wanted to just try them all again. Um, get the, you know, stuff that they, their their notes and everything. So I got a Nest sampler set. This has uh, two, four, six. This has eight of them in here too. Uh, so we gonna see, we gonna see. Cause some of them, like I said, I don't, I've never tried. Now Indigo is my favorite. So I'm gonna just spray it because I haven't had indigo in quite some time. And I never and my dumb ass never just went on and bought it. Okay, so indigo, which is my favorite. So let's spray her to remind me of her fabulousness. Okay, see so now right off I like Floral Street's presentation better because I hate this kind of shit. Because you never you it never fails. Something pops out at you. Or you drop some shit because you're trying to push it out. Okay, I got it out. Whew, child. Yeah, I love indigo too. So indigo, and there's this, oh, at 70, I didn't even know. So there's $74 for a 50 mil. That ain't bad either. Okay. Now all this says is bergamot and spices. Right, because it, like, like midnight floor is okay and i had that before yeah indigo is nice it's spicy got that bergamot going on 
It smells really good on because I used to wear it all the time. I got it off of Scentbird, loved it. I don't know why I never bought it because it was, I was being cheap. Let me just be honest. I was being cheap. I was being cheap. So this is um, Bergamot and Spices. I wish they would put some more damn information. Well, let me look on the back of here. What did they say about it? Moroccan tea, cashmere wood, and black cardamom are enhanced with hints of wild fig and bergamot. Um, yeah, so, right, because some things, like, let me just say this right now. Highland, if I was going to drop coin with having Floral Street and having, in, and having Nest, I would buy the Floral Street because off the bat, their their scents are a little more interesting to me okay so let's look let's go with wild poppy all right so let's this one says it is luscious aromas of pear raspberry and apricot are infused with hints of himalayan jasmine and rose de grasse rose de grasse because we can't have just regular rose. We can't have Bulgarian rose. We can't have Turkish rose. We gotta have rose de grasse. Okay, it is definitely pear raspberry. Definitely getting that fruit off the top. But I'll probably, I'm gonna have to play with them on the skin also just to see how they smell on. Okay, so right now, Yeah, I will wear this, but it's kind of similar to something I have, but I don't care. Oh, I like this. That Black Lotus is love, y'all. Okay, y'all, yeah, I'm getting Black Lotus. I'm gonna have to try one of the, 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 the other ones too. I'm gonna try them all. So we're gonna come back and I'm gonna have tried them all, tell you how they work. Oh my fucking God, that shit smells good. Okay, never mind. let me stop. Okay, so this is definitely pears and, you know, a little raspberry raspberry vibe. Definitely got that peach melba vibe to it. You know, that pear melba, not peach melba, but pear melba, because, you know, it's pears and raspberry. And the florals are starting to come out, but the top is definitely fruity. Definitely, this would be a nice spring summer fragrance. Like I said, I don't know if I would definitely want it. Okay, let me go get my grandson. We're gonna have to stop now, okay. So let me get him. Let me get him cold one, because I'm supposed to be doing black tulip. Let's try black tulip though. Black amber plum is nuanced by the aroma of patchouli, pink pepper, and Japanese violet. Oh, that sounds lovely. Black tulip sounds like this could be a winner, winner chicken dinner for us. Okay, it's so high, my room about to start sweating. And I promise y'all, it has got to be. Let me see what the temperature is outside. Let me see what the temperature is. That's a lie. It is 10 degrees outside. Why do I feel like I'm in a sauna in my home? That's that project heat. Okay, so this is black too. Okay, let me go get him. So do y'all mind sitting here for a little bit? Let's see if you if I can get him to sit down and we can sit here with him for a little bit. Do y'all mind that? Okay, I definitely smell the plum. Mm. Plum and violet. It's got almost a decadent smell, but not really. You know that that plummy smell, that plummy scent that comes from note that comes from decadence. Um, okay, this will be a nice one. Okay, let me go get him. I'll be back. I'll be back.
Cancel it up. Got a little gas in there, belly. Let's get that the gas out. You're gonna sit here and let's keep Hello, fussy pants. Hello, fussy pants. Being fussy. Oh, there we go. You let that go. You let that go. I was a good one, fussy pants. You okay now? How you doing, man? Oh, you want to say hi? Yeah, you give him a little face. You gonna give him a little face, fussy pants? You gonna give him a little face? Let's give him just a little face. Let's just give him a little face. Oh, let's sit around. Let's sit around. You gonna say hey? You gonna say hey, Bakari? Hey. You hungry? Want your more food? Want some more? You good? Beast tired, so we're trying to. I did. We jiggle jaggle that big gas at you. Are you about to boo boo? He got that look on his face. Okay. 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 Oh. <sighs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, Gigi's boy. Hey, Gigi's pudding. You gonna show up that face? You gonna show him that? <sighs> okay. Let's come on. Let's come on. We gonna just sit right here on Gigi. <laughs> the left arm up. Okay, there we go. You gonna sit on Gigi. You okay, ma'am? Oh, and now you won't get some hiccups. Okay, you got, you got it all going on. Let's get it all out. I know. I'm on that side. Don't come on Gigi's shoulder. Just get on Gigi's shoulder like that. No, he won't be for long, right? I'm sorry he had to make his appearance. He was like, Gigi, come get me. He actually doesn't, they don't bother him right now that much. It's the gas that bothers him. He'll get through them. His name is Bakari Justice. You just gonna let him work his way through these hiccups. Right, exactly. No, not a breath. No, he has his own IG page for the people who aren't on there. If you're on IG, go look up Bakari Iman. He has his own page. <laughs> Follow him. So anyway, yeah, he's at that, and he's just at this little cute, tiny stage. He's under 10 pounds. But anyway, let's just talk. We, we'll, okay, I'm definitely getting Black Lotus. And this was the one that I thought I was going to buy anyway. So I was right. You know, I'm getting, you know, when you see the, when you see the fragrance, the, the, um, the notes you like, a lot of times you can, you know, you hate it though when you see the notes you like and then you get it and then you be like, this don't smell nothing like I thought it was gonna smell like. <laughs> but this smells like black lotus to me. Oh, Gigi baby. Let me tell you what that fool DJ said. He sent us a text yesterday talking about, I got two, I got two babies on the way. Since you, since I noticed how much you like being a grandmother, I got two babies on the way. I can't stand him. Bianca is ingesting. Um, you know, she's tired. 
you know, because he said he's a night baby. So he he's fussy at night. And so she doesn't get a lot of sleep at night. B is like, do you think he like telling you? I said, no, that boy's lying. But I did send him a message. I said, so I know what you need for your birthday. Forget, I was like, oh, now I know what I need to buy you for your birthday, son. A case of condoms. Watch, I'm going to buy him. I'm going to buy him a 30 pack of condoms. That's going to be one of his gifts. Right. Exactly. He gonna get them. He gonna be like, as I tell him, you know, this is the day I popped you out my cooch, and here's your condoms to stay. That see, I am a. Yep, for his birthday, I gave him birth. Well, when he turned thirteen, I gave him his first condoms. I'm a good mother like that. Hey, I want to keep you protected. I need this in my life, y'all. Oh. I mean, you can't stop him from doing it, but you can protect him. Ain't that right, boy? Don't worry, Gigi gonna get you yours when you get when you look like you're trying to do something crazy. Listen, I'm I'm in these schools. I know what these little kids is doing. I ain't playing. I was in the schools then too. Okay, so let's lean back. Oh, what's up? I can still see y'all. Y'all can still see me. Right. <laughs> he gets so upset. <laughs> Why you got to say that? <laughs> the day that I popped you out my cooch. I think it's so poetic. <gasps> oh, I, okay, so I want to talk shit. Let's talk shit for a minute. So I told y'all I, I have a, a, a company, right? I have a job retreat in about a month. Why did they decide they want to have a talent show at this job retreat? I suggested, suggested karaoke. Karaoke is fun. People are drinking and everything and... But no, they want to have a talent show. We, I have already said I might have to leave because if it's, because it, you know I can't contain my laughter, y'all. And if the shit is cheesy, I'm gonna be, out, I'm gonna have to not look at certain people because you know how certain people go be ignorant. I want to not happen. I want. Girl, yes. I'm like, karaoke is fun. You know, everybody drinking, you put on the karaoke machine and folks get to act in a damn fool. That's fun. You know, you a good karaoke. Thank you. I'm like, who came up with talent show? I'm like, hi, Claudia, I haven't seen you. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, look at the baby. He, he make me not depressed. Feeling better. How Gigi's putting on me. How Gigi's putting. Hi, Janine. Yes, OMG, baby. What's up, man? Oh, oh, that's terrible. Where if you in the if you in the states, you need to go get um what you need to get for bed bugs is diacotomous earth. That's how you kill bed bugs. You want to get diacotomous earth. Um, and it is it's natural and you put it around and they walk through it and it dries out their shells and they die. You want to get the uh, diacotomous earth. I'm telling you, change your life. It will get rid of your bed bugs. You got to take all your clothes. Mm -hmm. They're looking at your cheeks, man. They're looking at your cheeks. He got a little baby, you know, newborn acne going on right now. He's got a little, I think he also breaking out from the heat in the house too. Um, but yeah. 
What you looking at, man? What you looking at? But anyway, yeah, they want to have a talent show. Who does? Now I already know who's going to want to do their talents. Because you know how you have those people in whenever you're in groups of things that want to do their talents, right? So I know I'm expecting. Oh, yeah, that's what they're going to do. Um, yeah, so, you know, you know, I know the people who are going to have either super talented and want to share something, or it's not going to be that many people because most of us is going to be like, hell no, I ain't doing no talent show. No, I ain't doing no talent show. Y'all crazy. Nope, I'm not doing it. Right? Then we already, then we have the company creep. Doesn't every company have to have the company creep? The company creep who thinks he's going to push up on some puss, you know, puss. Well, Cooch. All he trying to push up on Cooch all the time. So we got one of those. And you could tell he trying to see see who he could try to holler at at the company, you know, retreat. So we got the company creep trying to, you know, trying to low-key. And the funny thing is, everybody knows he's the he's the creep. No one is you know, no ain't no no one wants him. No one wants him like that. No one wants him like that. And everybody knows he hits on every woman. So him doing it ain't going to get it. No one, want, no, one's, no one wants him. I mean, if they wanted him, he could have had somebody. Right now. Everybody's looking at him like, go away, creep. Gots to have the company creep. Ain't that right, boy? Gots to have the company creep. You're not going to be the company creep, though. Not my Bakari. You too classy for that. You too classy. So anyway, what y'all saying? I don't see nobody talking. We just y'all just staring at y'all just staring at him, ain't y'all? They just staring at you, man. They staring at you. Hi, Natasha. Every company has the company creep. I'm going to start calling them. Oh, you mean the company creep? Oh, okay, yeah. <gasps> them eyes is wide open. <laughs> Just let me rant. Oh, look at them eyes are wide open. You want to say, hey, man, let's sit up for a second. Let them see them eyes wide open. Them eyes is open. Them eyes is open. Just got to get on. Oh, oh, what you, what you need? What you need? Right. Right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You ready to eat? You ready to eat a little more? Oh, you ready to eat a little more, ain't you? Want a little more? No? No more? Okay, you want to just sit up and talk? You want to just sit up and talk, man? Let's just sit up and talk for a minute. Let's just sit up and talk. Let's just have a little talk, talk. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. You want to talk? Oh. Oh, look at all of that big old. Look at that big one. Look at that big one. That's when you know you granny, you GGs and mamas. You be like, look at that. You gotta have that, you gotta have that voice. You know, you can be like, huh. And then he's looking at me like, GG, you crazy. I'm not crazy, man. I'm not crazy. Okay, I am. Okay, you're right. GG crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, you'd be like, hey. Um, they should be able to move in um April 1st. <laughs> He's making them faces at me, y'all. Uh, hold on. I'll let y'all see better. What you looking at, man? 
Right. He is very, he is very aware. You know, he's very aware of his surroundings. He looks around. But he thinks it's Gigi. Why you gotta give me that look though, man? Why you gotta give me that look? Why you gotta give me that look? You want to sit up? You want to sit up on Gigi's shoulder? Because see, if you on Gigi's shoulder, you tend to go to sleep. You tend to go to sleep. You tend to go back to sleep. No, okay. The baby toes. Okay. He, he got a sock on. He got his, okay. He got his socks on. You giving him the eye? You you showing him the eye? So this has gone from fragrance and phones um, to Bakari time. Uh oh, what's wrong? What's wrong, man? You ready for some food now? You ready for some food now? Oh, I can see it. You're giving that. Yeah, you 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 moving? You moving? There we go. You want this? You want this? There you go. I know this is what you want. You ready? You ready to eat? There you go. Don't be playing like you ain't hungry. Don't be playing like you ain't hungry. I know you hungry, boy. You eat. There you go. Okay. Yeah, she's pumping. But he eats so much. We have to do a combination of formula and, and breast milk. I think this is breast milk, though. I don't even know what's in the bottles. I just pick them up, heat them up. Oh, he, yeah, he hungry. He always hungry. The boy eats. Say, I eat. I eat my food. I don't miss meals now. Okay. Say, I don't miss no meals. I have just interrupted the live with the baby. I apologize. Well, you know, I, I apologize. I should be off. Yeah, she's she's lost. Um, when she went to see her doctors, she had lost 18 pounds already. Yeah, she lost 18 pounds already. Right. Yes, normally he has his gloves on, but he takes them off all the time. So we're always throwing the gloves back onto his hands because he, you know, but he always wants to take them off. Right, right. She on the snap bag. Good night, Natasha. Natasha, so wait a minute before you go. So you got Jasmine Wisp. You know, you got yourself. So you like the new fragrances. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, you know, I tried because my mama did this for me, you know, when I had her. She tried to make sure, you know, I had a little support. Not too much support, but just enough. Because I ain't the mama, but I'm the Gigi. She was Nana. She was Nana. You know, she going to take care of, well, okay, you, now you woe out. Okay, I guess I'll get them. Until that time, I'll just go and let you do your thing. But no, next week, I'm going to, you know, I'm making sure, like, if she wants to go out and do some things, you know, and doesn't have to take him with her. And, you know, I told them they should go and have a night by themselves, you know, without the baby, you know, stuff like that. He must be three weeks tomorrow. You about to be three weeks old. You had up to one month, man. You getting old. Nice. Nice. I'm glad you like him, Natasha, because, you know, it's like you're listening to me and I don't know, you know, you got to see if you're going to like him for yourself. Oh, right. So he'll be crawling. Okay, one more. 
Yeah, he's not that hungry now. Okay, he good. He just wanted a little. He just wanted a little, man. Just wanted a little. Let's make sure you don't have no gas. He just be folding himself up, though. Come on. Come on. I got the palette. Oh, thank you, Natasha. I appreciate that. Just fail. What you want? What you need? What you want? 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 He does have a pacifier. It's on him right now. He don't really use it a lot, though. He's not a big pacifier baby. He uses it every once in a while, um, but he's not a huge pacifier user. Yeah. We just don't want him sucking his face. We just don't want him sucking his thumb. Because let me tell y'all, we had this whole conversation right before she had him. I was like, no, we don't. Because thumb suckers will keep, will, I was getting my nails done and this lady looked at this other woman who's getting her nails done. She said, oh, I see that thumb girl. And I was like, what the hell? She said, I know you suck that thumb, don't you? And she's like, I know because my best friend, she sucks her thumb. No, nah, you ain't got it in there. It ain't in there right now. She said, no, I ain't got it in there. And um, and he's a grown woman talking about how she suck a thumb. She's like, she's like, yeah, I bet you that's that thumb because it got a certain taste, don't it? And I'm just like, okay, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me and Bakari for a little while. I'm gonna get him down, get him back, feed him, get him to get right. Girl, yes, these were grown women about my age. Yes, still sucking their thumb. And then she was like, Yeah, I don't suck the other thumb because this it don't have a, it don't taste right. This one the one that tastes right. And that was I was like, so do you dip it in sugar or something? Do you dip it in syrup? How, I, what? And literally she did not get her nail done because she sucks her thumb. Yeah. I was like, uh, gross. All right, y'all. Let me go and take care of my grandson. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. You gonna say bye bye to him, Bakari? Pudding? You gonna say bye bye? Is it Gigi's pudding? You wanna say bye bye to him? Say bye bye. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I guess I have to say, yeah. He took over the. He took over the live. You took over the live, man. It became Bakari's live. All the men in my life just take over my life. That's DJ, Bakari. You see how they do me? Okay. Good night. See you guys later.